one school year winds down and you start thinking about next fall, choosing the right school for your child is a really big deal, something you put a lot of energy and research into. Well, KXY4 News was contacted recently by a local mom who thought she had done all she needed to. She enrolled her child at the private, non-traditional Winsong School in Spokane after seeing glowing reviews online. But she pulled her child out after only a short time. Caroline Flynn has exclusive in the, uh, investigation into what troubled her and may trouble other parents, too. Understandably, this former Winsong parent did not wish to appear on camera. But she did share her story with me. And from there, I found several similar complaints against the school in the last two years. Type Winsong School into Google and the gold stars appear. Click on a link and the positive reviews pour in. On the Great School's website, one parent writes, Winsong is a breath of fresh air, literally. Another parent said, our whole family is better because of this school. But not every parent feels this way. One website that doesn't pop up in that initial search is the one for the Washington Department of Early Learning, which paints a different picture. No reviews, just public records, inspection reports, and complaints. Under complaints, it shows the DEL recently investigated reports of two children between the ages of three and six who wandered off school property for 20 minutes and returned to the school on their own. Incidents the school never reported to the DEL or police, even when the children were missing. It's something one parent told us was enough to pull her child, and she wishes she knew what was publicly available about any licensed school and child care center in the state. It really is as easy as typing in the name of the school to the Washington Department of Early Learning's Child Care Check website. There, you can get a better overall picture of the school. If you want to go even further, file a public records request. That's what we did to find out more about the Winsong School. A 2016 complaint alleged that a five-year-old student was inappropriately touching girls during nap time. The state found the supervision by the school was adequate and couldn't have prevented it, but that the school failed to report the touching as required by state law. Another complaint alleged a kindergarten student was isolated from his classmates during nap time, walking outside with a staff member and made to carry a weighted backpack. That staff member said she was told not to engage the child, even if they were alone together for hours. The state warned it's a form of bullying and humiliating discipline, specifically forbidden by state law. The school is now disputing these claims. Several parents have hired a lawyer to look into this and the way the school responded to other complaints. After the DEL investigated, Winsong decided in January to drop their license to operate a child care center and instead supervise children as a part-time classroom. That means they're exempt from state licensing requirements. All information publicly available, but something you might have to dig for if you want to be sure about anyone you trust to watch your children. The Winsong School is still operating as usual for grades kindergarten through sixth. Immediately when I began researching this story, I reached out to them. They denied any wrongdoing and said to KXLY in a statement. A group of former Winsong families have demanded monetary settlement based on allegations that have since been addressed with the help of our state licensor and were determined unfounded by the Department of Social and Health Services. These families threatened to complain to regulatory agencies and the news media if we refuse to settle, and they have been consistent in their threats. Winsong School takes these allegations very seriously and always holds the health and safety of our students above all. As the privacy of the families and their children is involved in this issue, we cannot comment further. Caroline Flynn, KXLY4 News.